smoking weed. Hmm. Uh, how many people in this world uh smoking that good old Zaza? Huh? How many people how how many people in this world smoking that good old that good old chronic? That good old uh how many people smoking that uh pressure? Smoking that good gas. Huh? How many how many how many people in this world smoking that? How many? Because it seemed like it's so many people. It's like y'all, it's little kids nowadays who are smoking weed. There's little kids, y'all, who are out here who who are out here smoking that good old weed. And I say that good old weed because that's what y'all call it. Y'all call it that good old that that uh, good gas. I gotta go roll me. I gotta go roll one, man. I'm I'm a uh, heartbroken. I gotta go roll me one because I'm going through a heartbreak. I'm I'm going through a breakup. I'm going through this. I got I got health problems. Uh oh. I got health problems, so I gotta go smoke me some weed. What kind of sense does that make? And I'm just gonna tell you this out of love. I'm gonna tell you this out of love. It ain't gonna help you at all. Smoking weed is not going is not going to help you with your problems. See, let me tell you this because you you talking you are listening to a weed to a to a um ex weed addict. That's what you listening to. You listen to somebody who battled with weed my whole life. Well, majority of my my life, I battled with smoking weed. I battled with that. I was an addict, man. I was somebody who, man, I needed to smoke weed every second of the day. I needed to smoke weed. I had to be high. You couldn't talk to me without me being high. I wasn't trying to hear anything that you had to say. I couldn't even smile without getting high. I couldn't eat without getting high. I couldn't sleep without getting high. I couldn't even go and hang out with my friends. I couldn't even hang out with my family without getting high. It was so bad to the point where my mother even told me, she was like, I like you better when you high. Because the the, the attitude, the the attitude that was growing in me was was getting bad. Like it was it was to a point where, you know, I was dissing everybody. Like even the ones that I love, bro, I couldn't even they didn't even want me around because my attitude was so bad. Because that's what weed would do to you. We would destroy your family. We we would it would destroy your finances. I'm pretty sure it's a I'm and I know for a fact that's why there's a, that's why it's so many homeless people. A lot of them grew up in in broken homes. A lot of them grew up in family in, in family who was already in poverty, and, and a lot of them had drug problems. A lot of them had great paying jobs. A lot of them had places to stay. A lot of them had nice cars. But guess what happened? The drugs got to them. It started with weed, and now it, and then it went on to what heroin, coke, crack. Come on now. This is what the this is this is what we would do to you. This is the trick of the enemy. This is the trick of the devil. The devil will trick your mind like that. Because let me tell you something. It always starts with we. It always starts with we. It start with we. And then weed ain't ain't uh, good enough no more. I'm telling you. We end up not not good enough no more. You don't even get high off of weed. And then guess what? Now you now you lacing your blunts. Now you now you lacing it with crack. 
you thinking that, you know, hey, man, it's just weed, bro. It ain't doing nothing to me, man. Weed ain't bad for you, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with weed. Uh, let me go ahead and, and just disagree with you. Respectfully, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Because I seen what it was doing to me. And some of y'all were like, well, hey, man, that's you. And that ain't me. That's you. And then you wonder around why you your attitude is so bad when you don't got when you can't smoke no weed. You wonder around why you can't get no job because you you keep smoking weed. It's a lot of lazy people in this world. It's a lot of people in this life right now who can't get a job. It's a lot of people in this life right now who won't get a job because they so focus on getting weed. It's a lot of people right now who are broke. Who can't even who finances are messed up. Hey, I'm I was one of them. I was one of those ones. I was the one who kept who kept being broke because I tried to support my habit. I wanted to support my habit. My bad habit. Which, which wasn't getting me nowhere in life. Wasn't getting me nowhere. But see, people say ain't nothing wrong with weed. Hey, man, I, hey, I got my own business. I'm my own boss. I can smoke weed. I can smoke that whenever I want to. You know, uh, hey, I don't got to work for nobody. I don't got to take no drug tests. I can smoke weed. Well, let me just go ahead and tell you something. Because we have somebody who created us. The reason why you here. Somebody who created us. Somebody who, you know, who blessed us with this, this flesh, with, with this body. But see, you don't see it like that because you want to smoke your weed. You don't see that the father, God looks at weed as another God. There shall be no other gods before me. This, this is what the father says. For I am a jealous God. So you run, you run to weed when you going through something, when you going through problems in life, you think that a drug is going to help you. Hey, I feel like I'm, I'm talking to somebody. You feel like a drug is going to help you. You feel like that weed that you smoking, that, that weed that you smoking every day. Hey man, I got this man. Hey, I gotta go smoke me a weed. I got, I gotta smoke me a blunt, man. I'm about to go home. I'm about to uh, lay back, turn the game on, smoke me some weed, and just relax and chill and wait for a whole nother day to go on. And it's the same old routine every day, same routine. Smoking, uh, smoking your weed. You, you go to work, come home, smoke the weed, make you something to eat, and watch the game, and go to sleep. The same old routine. Wake back up the next day. Uh, wake and bake, smoke some weed. Uh, you know, probably make you some breakfast. I don't know. I'm a weed is people breakfast. Uh, you know, sm uh, smoke you some weed, go to work, come home, smoke again, make something to eat, watch whatever game on, turn your favorite movie on, or you probably got your girl, your girl come over, y'all smoke, y'all smoke some weed, or you got you got your boyfriend, you you smoke some weed uh with him, or y'all y'all probably a married couple, you smoke weed together. You probably a drug dealer, um, and you start smoking some weed. Now what? Same old routine every day. Same routine. God looks at weed as another God. You are putting another God before him. Any man made in Christ is a new creature, and old things pass away. A lot of y'all ain't, ain't no new creatures. A lot of y'all don't even know who God is. A lot of y'all ain't even close to God. You you don't even know one scripture. Why? Oh oh, but you know you know all the names for the uh strain of, uh, for the uh strain of weeds though. You know all those names, but you don't know all the you don't know not one book in the Bible. You don't know not one scripture. But you know, but you know. You know where to get you know where to get the weed from, you know who to call, you know you know what place to go to, you know the exact time to get there, you know every name for the weed. And yet still you have no idea who the father is. No idea who God is.
because you so focused on weed. You don't want a relationship with him because you want you want your weed instead. You want your relationship with, with some weed. And, and, and in other words, you want your relationship with Satan. Satan got so many people wrapped around his finger right now. Man, he can't y'all y'all can't even breathe. Y'all y'all about the uh the 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 freaking blood ain't even ain't even going to his finger no more because he got so many people wrapped around his finger. He got so many people that's on their way to the lake of fire with him. The lake of fire is um over capacity. You don't gotta but listen. So many people don't believe in in. In the uh, afterlife, in the spiritual realm and stuff. But what you fail to realize is we always put here for a reason. But see, one, but see, the thing is, a lot of y'all don't see that because Satan got you. Because the devil got you so tight that you don't see that. You think that you you was put here just to show your body on the internet to get some money. You think that you was you was only here just to smoke some weed, get high every day, and go to work every day, and just get high. That's what you think that, that you was put here for. You think that you was put here just to fornicate, have sex, be married to somebody that, that God didn't even put you with. Uh -oh. Don't nobody want to hear that one. And y'all say weed is not bad. Let me tell you something. Once again, you you listening to an addict, to an ex addict, to an ex weed addict. If you live close to me or some, and you, I would take you to my family, and they can tell you better than I. Nah, they they can't say better than I can because I'm the one that was, that was going through it. But they can tell you how bad my my weed addiction was. It get to to a point where you block your whole family off. You 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 block everybody off because all you want is weed. Hey, I don't I don't need to talk to you. Hey, I don't need you. Shoot, I got my weed. I'm good. That's one that that keep me tame. That's one like, hey man, I'm going through some man. Like you know, hey man, my nerves are so bad, bro. I just gotta I just gotta smoke this weed, man. My nerves are bad. I need it. It's sad. That's that's what it is. It's sad. I wasn't smoking weed because my nerves was bad. No. That's not why I was smoking weed. I wasn't smoking weed because my nerves were bad. My nerves wasn't even bad. You know, my nerves wasn't bad. I was smoking weed because I was bored. And then when you smoke when when you when you smoke weed because you bored, and then you 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 like the feeling of it. The feeling of being high. Yes, I know that 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 feeling, man, of being high. It's a feeling of you you feel free. Like you you feel like you ain't got no problems. You feel like you feel like it ain't no stress in your life. You feel like you know the weed is your best friend. You feel like that weed can cure anything. That's what you feel like. Even when you're not feeling good, when you're going through a cold or something, when you're going when you're going through a fever or something, you smoke that weed and now you feel like now you feel like you you never even had the uh the the cold. You feel like you was never even sick before when you smoking that weed. I understand. I understand. Man, these people over here keep making this, keep doing this thing, man. I'm telling you, y'all, Satan, that devil, that devil, man, he, let me tell you something, he's attacking hard. That devil keep is, is attacking hard, y'all. And let me tell you something, he's attacking people's minds. He's attacking your mind. But, but first, he go for your heart. Because if he can, if he can uh, go for your heart, he can control your mind very easy. That's why God judges you off the heart. He judges your heart. Prime example, like unforgiveness. If you got unforgiveness for somebody, there's a reason why you have unforgiveness for towards somebody. Because you think about the memories of what they did to you. So now when you think about the memories of what they did to you, it's going to keep 
being in your heart. So now when, when that person come around you, you get this bad feeling. Once you get that bad feeling that's in your heart, okay? Once you get that bad feeling, you know, of that person that came around you that you that you won't forgive, now then you start thinking about what they actually did to you, the reason why you you not uh, forgiving them. So Satan attacks your heart. And let me tell you something. Smoking weed is sorcery. Oh, let me just get real with y'all. Let me get real with y'all. Smoking weed is sorcery. Yeah, you can believe it or not. You you don't you don't gotta believe it. It's okay. You don't you don't have to believe it. But I'm telling you the truth. Smoking weed is sorcery. That is sorcery. Witchcraft. Okay? Do you not realize that yes, God did create weed? Yes. But he did not create it for you to to be out here smoking it, smoking your, yourself to death, smoking it every day, smoking it, you know, it, God created weed for, for, don't you know that they're using weed in, in the hospitals now to cure people, to help people? That's the real reason why he uh, created weed. But look at these people, though. And I'm telling you, the devil, the devil, he wants to go against God's creation. He wants to go against the Father's creation. You know, what God made good, man sought out many inventions. And man, these people sought out many inventions, man. You know, these people, they, they seen that they can use this weed and sell it. Oh, dang, so let me smoke it. That's why when, when you see the, this weed, why do you think there is so many names to it? Why do you think that it's so many names? OG Kush. Moon. Uh, what is it? Uh, purple. Purple Kush. Uh, what is it? Bubble gum or blue something. It's so many names to all this stuff. Why is that though? Because they put in different, different chemicals in this weed. They're putting different chemicals in this stuff. That's why so many people are burnt out right now. So many people are burnt out. So many people, they are, their brain cells are dead. But hey, the way that they're looking at it is, man, ain't nothing wrong with weed, man. I mean, hey, hey, weed ain't never did me wrong. That is witchcraft. Don't you know that when you smoke weed, you are giving access to the spiritual realm. You are giving access to the spiritual realm. And it's not just with weed. It's with any drug. It's with anything that gets you high. You are getting you are you are getting access to the spiritual realm. And let me tell you something. When you when you get when you smoking that stuff and you getting high and you you doing any any other drug and you get high shooting that stuff in your arm and stuff, taking these Percocets, these Xanax and stuff. Don't you know that when you get high like that, the spiritual realm opens up, and now you gave you gave access to to the demons. So when you open that spiritual realm up, the demons is looking at that as, oh, well you you giving us an invitation. Oh dang, he just she. Uh, who, whoever smoking it, whoever high, they just gave us a, a um invitation. Oh, we about to come in like a flood now. The thank you, that's how they looking at it. And you wondering why your your personality is changing. You wondering why your attitude is bad now. You wondering why you know you you feel like you can't get in a good mood unless you high. You wondering why. That's what's going on. You gave the demons an invitation. You gave them an invitation. Now, if you if you don't smoke your weed, now you got an attitude, you got you got wicked, evil thoughts, and now you you didn't got in trouble because you didn't did something. You didn't put your hands on your on your wife, or you didn't you didn't try to stab your husband. You didn't try to do the you didn't put a gun out on on somebody. Now you just now you are sitting behind bars. 
but weed ain't bad for you though. Ain't nothing wrong with weed. Hey, brother, I hear what you're saying, bro. But I gotta I gotta smoke my weed. And nah, don't don't uh uh don't don't cut the video off. Don't cut the video off. Nope, listen. Nah, bro, I gotta I gotta smoke my weed, man. Hey, I hear what you're saying. All oh, that sounds good, but hey, God God knows my heart. I just want God to look at my heart. God ain't ain't listening to a fool to a that's a fool. That's a foolish person. Who's saying stuff like that? God knows my heart. Duh, he know your heart. He created you. Duh, he know your heart. What type of foolish stuff is that? That's the most stupidest comment to me. God knows my heart. You are giving... Why do you think that when you go online, you see these people, they when they high... These little memes that's on there, they they got their hood on and they they sit back and they they wander around. They like, and you know stuff just just come to their mind. They are like, so if that happened, then how come that happened? If that oh, so that happened, so that. Why do you think that? Why do you think that all this stuff just start coming to them? They just they can't wake up on 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 all this stuff. Why do you think that 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 uh stuff like like that happens? Because you give. You open your mind up to the spiritual realm. You got these people out here talking about you open your third eye. Your old pineal gland. I was believing that that mess at, at one point. I was believing that. You opening up your third eye. They say right here in the middle of your forehead, you actually have an eyeball that's built inside right here. Stop listening to them, them foolish, demonic people. That's the most stupidest stuff. That I have ever heard in my life. That is so. And, and when I when I came into the truth of what it really is, I felt so. I felt so slow. I felt so down about myself. I did. But the father knows what he's doing, though. He know exactly what he's doing because he know he let me. He allowed me because this was a. I believe like this was a plan for my life anyway. This was what was supposed to happen in my life anyways. For me to to smoke weed and stuff and become that addict and stuff then he deli then he he healed me delivered me from it so now i can give my testimony to you i can show you and tell you that weed is demonic weed is demonic you are not going to get nowhere in life i don't care how much money you have i don't care how many people you scamming you 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 doing fraud how much time you showing your body how good of a job you have I don't care how how it is, and you and you you do get drug tests at your job, but you say that you know how to get around it. You know how to use somebody else's piss. Don't you know that the father would would come up with some way for you to not be able to to pass that drug test and for you to, to lose your job? Don't you know that he's able to do that? Y'all better stop taking the father power for granted because you you better realize that he created all this. He created this this world. Yeah, Satan, Satan's demonic people created, you know, created all this pornography, this strands of weed, the way that it, it is now, and all this other crap that they uh, came up with. But these people think that it's nothing wrong with this stuff. Hey, man, I got to get high. Hey, man, I need some weed, man. Man, f what, what are you talking about? This my life. I'm a grown. I'm a um. I'm, I'm grown. I can smoke weed. I can smoke. Who are you to tell me not to smoke weed and all this stuff? You better straighten your life up and get out of it and repent. Repent. Repent, y'all. I'm telling you. Get closer to God because he's looking at it, he's looking at that as another God. You are turning to another source to feel better. You are turning to somebody else to. Yes, I'm going to say somebody else. You're turning to Satan. You're turning to Satan to feel better. When when you when oh, I, I ain't about to say I about to I about to say you big dummy. No, I ain't, I ain't gonna say that because I, shoot, I at one point I was like that too, trying to say to feel better. Or, or, I mean to to not be bored. But what you don't realize is that Satan got you in that mood. He got you feeling like that to get you to go to that weed. So 
now you serving your father, the devil. What did Jesus say in the Bible? You are of your father, the devil. And for him, you will serve. You're going to serve him. That's your father. That's how God looking at that. As another God, you going to another God, you are serving your father. He is looking at that as Satan being your father. That's what he's looking at. But hey, you know, leave it up to other people. Ain't nothing wrong with weed. You know, I'm going to uh, continue to get high. Don't care about what y'all got to say. I'm not, I'm not into that church stuff. I'm not into all that stuff. I don't, I don't I, you know, hey, that sounds good. I know who God is. I know God. I have a relationship with God. That's what so many people are saying. They got a relationship with God. And they don't got no relationship with God at all. They got a relationship with Satan. With Satan. That's what they, they have a relationship with. Weed is demonic. Weed is demonic. That's why these demonic rappers are promoting it. They're promoting it. These drug dealers are working for Satan. They are working for Satan. They're working for the devil. To get you to, to keep smoking that weed. That's his that's the devil's plan. The devil has a plan too. He don't want God's plan to work in your life. No, no, the devil want his plan to work in your life. That's his plan for you. It's for you to keep smoking that weed. To get you to keep getting high. To keep being like that. Wake up, y'all. Wake up. Get out that weed. Stop smoking that weed, man. I'm telling y'all. It's not good. Stop smoking that weed. Because you're going to turn around and you're going you, you're gonna to mess around and you're going to start shooting stuff up, up in your arm. Because you're gonna your, your body is going to get so used to you getting high. It's going to get so used to you, so used to you, um, of uh, feeling good. So when, so when your body, so when your, your flesh is like, dang, why you not getting high no more? Why you not getting hot? I'm looking for that drug. Your body's going to start looking for that drug. And then what? Then what happened? When your body don't get that drug no more, oh, you're going to start seeing mood changes. You're going to start seeing all that. But if you keep giving your body that drug, at some point, your body is going to it's gonna say, hey man, you know, I know you, I know you smoking weed. I know you like to smoke weed and get high, but you ain't getting high enough for 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 your body for us no more. We nah, I need you to 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 get something else to get higher. Because when you when you smoking, you can smoke like two two to three blunts at one time and not get high at all. And not get high at all. Now what? Now what you gonna do? You're gonna look for something stronger. And if you and if you can't find something stronger, you're gonna start itching. You're gonna you gonna get in a bad mood. You're gonna oh 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 goodness, I gotta get high, man. I gotta mm, man, I, man, I gotta get high. I don't know how many nights I sat in my room and I was and I was just playing, I was just, you know, I felt like I was losing my mind. Because I needed to get high. Which I could I could have went went and uh, bought some, but I wanted to stop. And get closer to God. How many people. How many How many of y'all want, want to do that though? How many of y'all is even trying. To get closer to God? How many of y'all even trying? That's a that's for you to think about. But um. I ain't gonna say too much more in this video. Uh, I say all I had to say in this. Um, Y'all. That weed smoking ain't, ain't gonna get you nowhere. That weed smoking ain't getting you nowhere. You're gonna continue to be to be depressed. You're gonna continue when you get high and that highness go down, and those drugs, whatever drug that you're that you're taking, whatever drug to make you feel better, make you feel better, whatever drug that you're taking, after you come down off that drug. You're going to feel the same way or probably even worse.
So you're not getting nowhere. The drug is not helping you. But people don't want to uh, hear that. They want to when, when, when you know, when it's your fault why you're going through a heartbreak because the Most High never told you to be fornicating. He never told you to be committing adultery. He never told you to fall in love with that with that fool or that that uh a uh, silly woman. He never told you to fall in love with them, but you did it. But you fell in love with them though. Now it's your fault why you feeling like that. Now you looking for for another source to make you feel better when God is the one that can make you feel better. But you you think that that drug will make you feel better? No, it's not. It's not. When the father, when if you're going through a heartbreak or something, you go to the father or something, I'm, I believe that he would he he would show you or send somebody to you who's good for you, who he has for you. But you'll never find out if you if you continue to do that drug. So like, comment, subscribe. I said everything I had to say. I pray somebody come come across this video. I pray, Father, somebody come across this video and get delivered and come out of what they're doing. Come out of that smoking that weed and stuff because it's not getting you nowhere. It's not. Don't care how much money you have. You you you're gonna go right to hell with that money and with that weed.